Hey guys, Dan Deep South Texas coming at you. Well, this is my third attempt to make this video. Uh, <laughs> a lot of technical difficulties. Um, I'm inside the house right now. Outside, it's just way too windy right now to record anything. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm inside the house and the kids are asleep. So I may not speak, be speaking as loud as I need to be. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Another thing is that another reason why it's been kind of hard to make these this video is I've been having a lot of difficulty with my phone uh, for whatever reason media wise it just uh, it, it hasn't been working to be honest with you anything I, I look up on YouTube or uh, or Google or anything like that anything having to do with media and videos it will play the video but in a fast forward motion and um, I actually have to go to the settings and slow everything down just to watch it in a normal speed but no uh, sound comes out and that that's even happening with my uh, with my media uh, like the videos and different content that I put out uh, that's actually just on my my media center here uh, so I don't, I don't know what the problem is I don't know if it's a software issue or or it's a setting thing but uh, I've checked all my settings gone through everything that I can think of reset the phone everything it hasn't changed anything but if I plug in a headset or I connect to Bluetooth or something like that, the video starts playing at normal speed and there's audio. So I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so I'm not even sure if this video is is going to to do very well at all because I even now as I'm watching the video, um, it's glitching a little bit. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, I got a couple of yavos to do um, and. Honestly, I received these packages a couple days ago, but I wasn't able to do a video uh, because of the way my phone was acting. I'm going to try to do it tonight. We'll see what happens. I may or may not be able to post this video. Now, because this is, like I said, my third attempt here, uh, I've already opened everything up, kind of gone through all that, so I'm just going to kind of go through the motions here. But... Um, I wanted to first uh, kind of talk about my dad. Uh, he he had recently came back from the DR. He was out there doing some uh, missionary work with the church. Uh, he was doing some preaching, and my my dad's in the pest control business, so uh, he was also doing some services out there to to help out as well. But um, on his way back, he stopped at a at a store there uh, to pick up just little odds and ends for the family, just little trinkets and stuff. And uh, well, he ran into a couple of pipes and. He knows I collect pipes and that I like them, so he picked up a couple for me and he brought them back with him. The first one is this one right here. It's a little, it still has a ticket price on there. But uh, yeah, it's a hand carved uh, wood, uh, a little pipe. Um, it has a turtle head on it. If you can see that very well, I think the camera's focusing on me. But anyway. So it's a little hand carved pipe. pipe. Um, I don't know what wood it's made out of. It has no markings or anything like that. It's just more of a, a decorative piece, you know, put it on your mantle. I don't think I would smoke this just because that bit is quite thick. <laughs> so I think more than anything else, I just put it on the mantle. And uh, it's a cool little pipe to look at though. Oh, uh, he also got me another one. Now this one's really interesting. Almost looks like a, uh, an Indian pipe or something like that. <laughs> but it has all these feathers dangling here and some stones here. But I, what I thought was really interesting about this pipe is that the top here is some kind of a shelling or it kind of looks like an acorn of some sort. Uh, then it has a clay right here built over this uh, over this piece of bone and I believe that is a fish bone right there either the the toothing on the inside of the jaw or it might be like a stinger off a stingray or something I'm not entirely sure it has a, a stone inlay right there and then uh, a bamboo shank but look at that I mean that's a piece of bone they carved into there thought that was really interesting again another piece probably to put on the mantle uh, I did receive a, a package from uh, from Mel Harris, uh, Garbage Man Piper. Um, he, he saw one of my videos where I was talking about 9mm pi pipes, kind of uh, talking about what he was discussing. 
uh, the differences in uh, profile taste versus a, a filterless pipe. And I, I don't have any filtered pipes. So I was kind of curious uh, of uh, what the differences would be. So uh, he reached out to me and we, we kind of came up to an agreement and uh, he sent me over a pipe. And I already did the unveiling guys. So this is the pipe that he sent me right here. And uh, it's a sitter. It's, uh, it, it's not a clincher, it's kind of a heavier pipe. But uh, man, I tell you what, look at that. Look at that grain on there, it's beautiful. I, didn't, I don't see any pits, any flaws actually at all with this pipe. This is a very nice pipe. That's a lot of bird's eye on this pipe. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I like the style. I honestly do like the style of this pipe. Um, and it's, it feels really good in the hand. So I'm really, I really wanna light this bad boy up already. I'm gonna be placing a, an order pretty soon here. So I'll pick up some nine millimeter, nine millimeter filters and some pipe cleaners. I need some pipe cleaners. But with this pipe came a little ad adapter here so that if I wanted to smoke it without a filter, I have that possibility here. So Mel, again, thanks. That's more than what I actually expected. An unsmoked pipe, I didn't expect that either. Thank you so much. And uh, again, you know the you know how Mel is. He always sends something extra with his packages and well, he knows this is my favorite tobacco, so he sent this over. Dunhill Early Morning Pipe. I mean, this is some awesome tobacco here. Uh, I'm gonna be actually using uh, this tobacco here to test out uh, the differences because like I said, it's one of my favorite ones. So I know how this smokes and, and all my pipes. And so I'm, inter I'm really interested to see what it's gonna do with a filtered, with a filtered pipe. So Mel, again, thanks man. I sent a package out your way, so you should be receiving it pretty soon here. Also, um, I was uh, talking with, uh, with Mark from TPI, and uh, he put me in a drawing for his tampers he's been making. Now, I haven't actually got to see one of his tampers uh, through the videos I've been watching. I've been just barely catching up with everybody, so my apologies. But in a way, I'm kind of glad that didn't happen because when I opened up this package, I was just thrilled. I mean, this is amazing, the, the work that he does to do these tampers. I mean, this is, look at that. I mean, it's a, it's a cigar. I think that is just, that is just amazing. That's, that's really nice. And then with the cigar bands on it, it's a nice touch, man. Nice, nice touch. It's almost too pretty. You don't want to use it, <laughs> but I'm going to put it into my rotation. That's, that's great, man. It's going to become, I think my favorite damper so far. <laughs> so thanks a lot. And you know what? You didn't have to do this, buddy, but he also hooked me up. He sent me over, uh, uh, Seattle Pipe uh, Seattle Pipes Club Hood Canal. Now this is actually on my tobacco radar. I was going to pull the trigger on this one not too long ago, and I decided against it because there were some other tobaccos I wanted to get, and uh, it was just a little bit too much. And so I, I said I'd have to wait. So I'm glad I didn't get it because, buddy, you hooked me up. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot, guys. The generosity of YTPC, I tell you, if you don't know these gentlemen, you guys need to get out there and subscribe to them. Odds are, if you're watching this video, you know exactly who I'm talking about. But uh, guys, I may or may not post another video before Thanksgiving. So with that, hey, happy Thanksgiving. God bless you all. Uh, there's so much to be thankful for during the season. I mean, there, I think there's so much to be thankful for, regardless whether it's Thanksgiving or not. God is good all the time, and I wish you guys a, a blessed and a, and a happy Thanksgiving, guys. God bless. This is Dan, Deep South Texas. See you all later. Bye now.